Hi everyone, Alan Hicken here. Well, as promised, I did say I was going to do a couple of more rehouses. Uh, this one here, I've got my Brachypalma abolossum, the uh, Undarius curly hair. And this one, I've got my Canthoscuria geniculata, my uh, giant white knee. So, the first up is going to be the Albop. It's around about a, I'd say about two, two and a half inch um, specimen. So, let's just touch her into a new enclosure and let's hope she's going to be a uh, a good girl or boy not too sure on the sex yet uh, did, try to malt, uh, did try to sex it but the malt was completely trashed but uh, these are a very good starter species they don't really show you any aggression but no more look now she'll probably lift the legs up so there we go guys that's the first one done in her new enclosure so she should like it inside there and uh, she's crawling inside a hide already which is nice Let's put the uh, the lid back on. So she'll be okay in there for a probably a couple of months. So next up is going to be my Canthoscuria geniculata. Now I'm hoping this one's a male. Because as you know guys, I've got about a six and a half to seven inch female. So if this is a male, I'm going to try and breed them. It'll be my first breeding project. This one's a bit more feisty as you can see. But... Uh, she should be okay, or he or she. Flicking airs at me, which is very understandable for a Canthoscuria. They do flick airs at you from time to time. And there we go, guys. Easy as pie. Uh, what I'll do, I'll just put some air holes in this, because no air holes in this uh, lid. But I will do that now. And there we go, guys. All done. Nice and simple. And thanks for watching, everyone.